Hey y'all, today we are making quick and delicious burritos. These are great for making ahead and freezing or eating immediately. This is a very basic recipe and can certainly be customized to your tastes. I'm starting with three pounds of ground beef. Now we use grass fed 8515, which is a bit leaner. So to compensate, I did add a bit of avocado oil to my skillet. If you use grain fed beef, you could probably skip that step. I like to break up the beef and then let it caramelize on the bottom before stirring the meat around. Once it caramelizes, I added in our taco seasoning. Normally I make our own, but we were in a busy season of life. So I gave myself the gift of convenience and used four packets of taco seasoning. We personally like to add in the seasoning as the meat is cooking, but if you intend on draining your beef, probably best to hold off and make according to your package directions. Since a lot of these burritos will be frozen, I chose to leave the fat in the meat to help keep the meat tender. If this is the first time we are meeting, welcome! My name is Jamie and I make videos related to cooking, cleaning, and home organization. While the meat simmers on low, I wanted to sort through my potatoes that I had just bought. When I bring my potatoes home, I like to sort through to see if there are any that need to be used immediately. One was rotten and had to be thrown away, and three needed to be used today. So I decided to make some fried potatoes to go into our burritos. Did you all have a good holiday season? Ours was nice, but this year has started off challenging, including having to quickly buy a new clothes washer. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps YouTube know what kinds of videos you enjoy and helps our channel as well. After peeling and dicing them, I generously sprinkled sea salt on them to help draw out some moisture before tossing them into a preheated cast iron skillet. Also, ignore the peppers that keeps walking around. She knows if she's going to be in the kitchen, she has to be laying down. She just needed a couple of reminders. Now once my potatoes were in the skillet, I stirred them around occasionally and added some pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. I did not add more salt because I had salted them generously while they were on the cutting board. I cooked them until they were golden brown and slightly crispy. Next, I removed them from the skillet and it was time to assemble the burrito. I somehow forgot to film me getting the brisket queso ready, but you'll see in a moment that we use queso for our cheese. You can definitely use the cheese of your choice, but if you use shredded, I recommend freshly shredding it as opposed to the pre-shredded, which has a coating and doesn't always melt nicely. Now all that's left to do is fold it, cut it, and eat it. Yeah, it was really, really good. The pico de gallo and the queso was a bit spicy, so I needed to grab a quick drink after a couple of bites. 
I only got one half though because my husband ate the other half. You know, quality control. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a blessed day.